Hello and welcome, and other greetings of uh, assorted nature. Um, you know me well, ish. I'm Cassidy, and we are going to be playing through uh, Secret of Mana. Uh, I'm actually really tired and really frustrated because I recorded about an hour of um, playing through this game with these conditions that you can see above here, which is, um, it's a hardcore mode that somebody on the Sakens forum suggested, which is to play through without any armor, uh, no offensive magic against the bosses, uh, without exploiting any of the bugs that you can use, which is like the Moogle Belt and the um, Midge Hammer to avoid inbound offensive magic, and without using any mana magic against the uh, Mana Beast. And, I'm in, uh, and in an hour, I managed to get up to uh, beating Tropicalo. Went to check out the footage, and n nothing. W w is the video was recorded, the game sounded recorded, my voice wasn't recorded. That may be a good thing, but it's not the objective of this. Um, the objective is that in order to try and combat the tedium of playing through a game that everybody's probably seen already, Right, some sort of commentary going along and whatnot, and no, it it all went completely and utterly wrong. I've now fixed the problem. I fixed it. It will all be wonderful, and <laughs> that's what my brain did. Um, I'll show you. See, look up there. Dwarf Valley, Dwarf Village, level seven. Had to the um. Second character, Papoya the Sprite. On board, only six saves, surprisingly. And one death against Tropicalo. All gone. All gone. Um, because the um, purpose of this is to play through from the beginning. That is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I have 64 gig of dead video that's sitting on my hard drive right now. The terrible thing is there, there were, you know, like, not not huge, fantastic moments. I'm just turning off my side screen. Um, you know, nothing like, amazing um, to write home about or anything like that, but... You know, a couple of moments where I went, oh, th that was actually you know, a decent bit of commentary. I could actually, you know, make this mildly interesting for people. And no, it all went completely wrong, all lost, irrecoverable. <sighs> Sadness. Still, let us not cry over spilt milk or unrecorded sound. And, um... Let's crack on with it. We're using the Xbox controller, by the way. Um, so, um, I actually wanted to buy an adapter for the... the there's adapters you can get for the SNES controller to connect those into a PC USB slot. And unfortunately, my um, SNES controller um, butchered ever so slightly, is I wanted to um, try and adapt it for uh, another project that I was attempting. It's actually a, like a, an activator switch for my father, but it that didn't work. Controller's gone. That's the end of it. Um, I still have the console in, in the back there, which is why I keep the cartridges around as well. Um, but sadly, I'm stuck with the Xbox controller, which is actually not a bad controller, but I still would prefer the SNES one if I could use it. Sadly, that is not to be. So, here we go. I have, uh, on the plus side, I have addressed one problem, which is the, um, this left analog stick. Um, the, 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 I was talking to somebody earlier on about this, um, chap on Twitch TV called Draco. Um, because uh, he was having the same issue with his Xbox 360 controller. It's the, the dead zone on it is horrible. 
and I, I, I knocked it a couple of times with my thumb and, so, and suddenly Randy's running over to the left and like, oh, why are you doing that? <laughs> and it was all going horribly wrong. And it was it was right in the middle of the um, combat against um, some of the Busbies, which when you don't have any armor at all um, and you're really low level like this, it, 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 it it's really not a good thing to... Uh, um, be letting your guard down. Um, anyway, cracking on, taking the overalls off. It's amazing what a difference three um, defense points make. Um, even in this early, well, especially in this early stage, uh, as right now, Real Knights do 10 damage, you have 50 health. Uh, instead of six potential hits to die, you're going to take five. And granted, you. Well, you, I mean, yeah, you can die in this um, first stage of the game, but you get reset without any uh, penalty and have to sit through the intro and have the game over and all that. Um, it's still a pain, like, doing it. I, I've, I've, I've replayed enough at this point. Um, it's... It's actually, it's actually somewhere approaching two in the morning now. Um, I finished my day shifts work earlier on. And I thought, right, okay, let's sit down and get some recording done. Let's uh, make a meal off this tonight and get a good chunk of it record. The, the idea is to go try and beat the game. <laughs> actually, having, having played up to Tropical and had my um, derriere handed to me rather spectacularly. Um, I get the impression that it's uh, going to be a lot harder than uh, I initially thought. So I, I don't know if this challenge is going to get completed. It, it may just have to go on the wayside, because there, there, there are parts in this game which are going to be absolute hell um, trying to do with the conditions that have been set. The no offense of magic only applies to bosses, fortunately. Um, so... Bam! So... I will be able to use it against minor monsters like this, and it won't be, you know, too bad. But, at the same time, it's not overly useful. I say that now, when I get magic and I'm deep in the khaki, I will be grateful, I'm sure. Oh, man. The, the, there, there was one moment in the um, playthrough earlier where I, I was cornered by a mushboom and two green drops. I had 12 health left, uh, which basically means that yeah, if one of them touches me, I will categorically die a very horrible death and single swoop with the uh, spear to all three of them out and say, yes! Win to the Ning, but uh, that is lost. Actually, be because I have the video, I'm, I, I might just do a little highlight of that, um, but with, yeah, without my um, yes, shouting GG. <laughs> Yes, can you tell I watch too many StarCraft casts? Let's go ahead. GG! I'm gonna take out enemies like that. It was an extremely nice hit. I, I, I will say that it's you know, blowing my own trumpet and such, but that, it was fantastic. I was very happy. And I would have four candies. Splendid. Okay, so I, I'm already up to the full permitted complement of candies. Actually, this shouldn't be called hardcore mode. This should be called sweet tooth mode. Because I'm going to be nomming on so much candy and chocolate in this game until I get um, cure drop, uh, cure water. And even then, I don't think it's going to be enough. So run out of MP so quickly. Yeah, that's good. 
be insane. Hello. Everyone, where I'm going back. Um, this, is, this is an old habit I developed, and I, I, I checked earlier on to see if um, it's the, it's the, the instruction book comes with. Um, A starter's guide going up to. I think it was up to Gaia's name. Um, I only looked at the first couple of pages of it to see if um, what I'm about to say is in there. But I got into the habit of always leveling up to uh, level 3 before taking on Mantis Ant. Um, and I couldn't quite figure. Yes! Couldn't quite figure out why. Um, so I can. I'm going to assume that at some point it was like a guide or something like that, but it, it, I, that was early on when I was playing the game on the uh, console exclusively, um, and it's just stuck since then for whatever reason. But it actually makes sense, because getting your attack up to... Well, when, you, when, you get your, when you get Randy up to level... Three is attack with the sword against uh, well, specifically rabbits, I guess. It is uh, twenty, which is their full HP, which means that you one shot them, and uh, that just makes uh, quicker work of this sort of tedium instead of having to go back and uh, really finish them off. Yeah, I say you one shot them, that's assuming that you don't fail miserably at um, getting the time right on the uh, hit. There we go, let's see. Oh, really? Oh, really? I don't think you just did that. I think you need to apologise to him. Yes, cower, hide in the corner. I'm coming for you. You will suffer at the hands of the small boy with the mana sword. You will pay for this insolence. The other thing is, with these videos, I'm going to be cutting out uh, all of the level grinding that I, I will have to do. There's no doubt about that. But ha having played the little I've played already, it's clear to me that a lot of time is going to be spent on um, going back and forth and killing a lot of enemies sake of um, a few extra hit points, because otherwise this is just not happening. That, that, that's the only reason that I stopped recording before, and I'm really glad that I did. <laughs> had I gone on for two hours and not had the voice, I, mean, I would... Uh, I would be sad. I, I would have just given up and gone to bed. I'm, I'm staying up all night, which is my, my switch routine the... Uh, and day and night shift for work. I probably would have just gone to bed and given up on this project for another week. But I only get one... I only really get one night a week that I can do this. Um, if I do it in little half hour or hour slots, I should be fine. I might be able to get a bit more done. Um, it's really optimistic of me to think that at any point anybody's going to watch this and listen to me rambling for hours on end. I think I'll just come up with random stuff to talk about, this will be like a weird video blog. And before, when I tried to exploit this glitch, it didn't work, and it's not going to work now either. But because it doesn't matter if I die here, I'm not particularly worried. Oh, maybe it worked this time. 
it did work. Okay, cool. If you stand there, the AI um, glitches out and he just jumps up and down like a maniac for no apparent reason. Which speeds up this tedium ever so slightly and we don't have to put it with Gemma. The man with the manly name. Um, who's still only called man. Um, going on about, you must concentrate. Clear your mind. Think positive thoughts. Stop smoking the crack pipe and hit him when your gauge hits 100. This is something I was so something I was talking about with Draco earlier on as well. Um, he was um, he was playing East Origins on his uh, live stream, and um, it has a few similarities to this game. Actually, pr probably the f it's actually an RPG. It's very, very flashy, very nice. Um, the reason it sprung to mind that it had a similarity with this with Secret of Mana is the um, initial conversation with a very large tree. <laughs> As Draco said, Oh, it's the mana tree! <laughs> it coincided with what I was thinking at the time. Oh, if he calls this tree mother, then I will be <laughs> very disappointed and impressed. Quick interruption. If you don't talk, the, to, talk to the elder, you can come back and listen to this song at any point instead of the other sadness song whose name I can't remember right now I'll find it out it's not Rose and a Ghost either it's the Pandora one initially um, anyway long story short t 20 minutes worth of um, Full motion video and dialogue and really tedious exposition and tutorials and press this button to do this, press this button to do that, and oh my god, you have an axe and and not actually getting to play. Um, you, you finally get to start kicking some serious butt and. I don't know what the games are about. Gaming. Next position, crap, and spin the hour and hour and fatty, round, bollocks. Get Merc for 21 points. Leap up and smack for 40 across two characters. Across two enemies. Splendid while rambling incoherently. Um, I had a point somewhere. Yes. So, you know, b before, like with Secret of Mana, yes, you have a, a, a short amount of here's an intro, here's a quick... Um, a, a long time ago, there were gods and the Mana Fortress came along and... <laughs> And it was all very tragic and um, bad for everyone's health. Yes, she's 200 years old, doesn't look it. L'Oreal. Because Luke is worth it. Um, and aside from that and the falling from the fall, all of the, the other exposition, even though it's going over details, such as the Elder saying, I brought you in when you were a small child, and you think, well... <laughs> Yeah, because Randy clearly doesn't know that already, but it, it... That is, I mean, that is a natural part of part of conversation. That's, that, that is one of the beauty of the uh, dialogues in this game, is that it does reveal a lot of um, history through just progressing through the game. It, 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 it's something that a lot of modern games are missing, because they, they just throw all of the lore and the story and... Um, yeah, everything that you should, you, you really should be progressively learning throughout the game is chucked at you in a very short period of time, and then, well, all you have left is um, completing the game. 
which is not to say that that's a small task in itself, but it, it's more than order if... Um, if, if you get to experience the story at, at, at a gradual pace throughout the game, you don't get that as much nowadays. It's a shame. And, and maybe... I'd say maybe it's an exaggeration, but m maybe it's it, it, it's perceived by me more that way, um, and and by others, because of the extremely long and tedious um, introduction before you get to actually you know, play the game. Uh, I'm gonna override this. So it exacerbates things, and, is it, and you know, it probably isn't as bad as I'm making it out to be, but I don't know. We talk about the golden age of gaming, and you know, uh, I'm sure that a lot of younger gamers um, will think, oh, you know, the, these old people and, and, and their JRPGs and 16-bit and... You know, their chip tunes and uh, 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 an old fashioned lot going on about the, go the, the golden times and uh, isn't it tragic? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and all that sort of malarkey. But the, the, the fact is, it, it is true. It, it, you know, maybe not to the, um, the, the fullest extent of. Um, of the whatever it is I'm trying to say at this point. <laughs> this is what I wanted to do. This is why I didn't, I, I didn't do this before I didn't stop and get the chocolate and that was a potentially grave mistake on my part. So I think you need everything you can get. I was just going through with four candy, and, and that's why Tropicolo beat me, is I got through four candy in absolutely no time. Um, and I started making stupid mistakes. Started? Started? I, mean, I started making stupid mistakes when I started this challenge for like... I, I'm, 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 I'm really hating life at the moment doing this. And it's my, and it's my own, it, 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 it is my own stupid fault. I, I, I have to prove it, but I, I have to prove to myself that I, I can beat this game under the conditions that were set. It's a challenge. You know. I, I need to try something new with this game. I, I like this game. It, is it my favourite game ever? It's certainly one of the most replayed ones that I keep going back to. That is a certainty. Whether it's my favourite all time.
to our journey to uh, Gaia's naval when we return. And actually, that's probably a sensible stopping point. Back shortly.